The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Welcome back to Alan Wake, everybody. Um, so the last episode ended where we got chased down this hallway um, by the darkness, I believe it's what it is. Again. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue on. And um, it's like 90 five degrees out right now and I am probably going to be sweating about halfway through the video so if you see me start to get shiny don't worry about it anyway let's continue on okay the muse was the murder victim the final scene took place in room 108 uh, okay so it took us all the way back around here Okay, I don't have many charges left for this. Okay. Four charges left. So room 108. Um, okay, let's look at the... Um, the entrance hall. Is it the climax? Yeah, I think the climax. This okay. Change with the story. Yep. Okay. Do I need to come back this way? Come on. You can do it. There we go. I've had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the paternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Okay. So the framing. So this is what wants me to come back here. After the gruesome deed, it was time to clean up the mess. Okay. So this is... We've already done that stuff there. Okay. Alright. So let's go ahead and continue on here. So we got to get room to 108. Nope. Wake. Okay. One eleven. Ten nine. So one oh eight's down there. Okay. So this is another scene here. So we do the climax. We haven't done anything in this yet. So let's take a look at these. Oh. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to do these yet, but let's what is that noise? Don't like that. Please do not disturb. Okay. So you can't get in there. Obviously, it's going to be the climax one, but I want to take a look to see what each of these have to offer. So, haunted. Okay, so it's blocked off there, too. Okay. And then... We have Climax. Oh. Oh. That's... Locked off as well. Whoa. Like walking into the lake? What? I don't... Whew, that's trippy. That's very trippy. Okay. 
Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflect, reflected in the in motion. In his room, he will. Herther. Hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends. Her story. Oh, I can see it on the wall here. Story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh, wait. I could probably read it like that. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? We, we, we did our best. We did our best to read it just right off the door. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Somehow oh. it was important. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Oh, I'm right. still trapped. We have the clicker. We can feel the images. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write it? the story. Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. The story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. It just, it's just never ending. It's never ending. I stop right before the end. Every time. If I just go a couple more minutes. Just a couple more minutes. <laughs> Every damn time. Oh well. It's almost like I feel the end coming and I'm like, this seems like a good place to stop, but just a little too short. Okay, so we gotta exit the hotel. We gotta find, or go back to the apartment, I think. Okay, so let's get out of the hotel. Um... If we can. I'm awake. No. Let's go ahead and save it real quick, actually. Okay. So can we get out? That's the question. Okay. I was coming through here before. Okay, cool. Parliament Tower was here. Again, Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Okay, so that's Parliament Tower there. Okay. Don't forget to use the janitor's bucket and the janitor's break room to alternate between characters. Alan and Saga stories can be played in whatever order you choose. Okay, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and save it. And let's go, let's go back over to Saga. It's been a while since we played a Saga. So let's do that. Okay. So as Saga, what is what are our objectives? Okay, let's hold on. Okay, so we can ask him about stuff. These pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Okay. So let's take a look here. What is the one that we need to go to? Okay, so there's a couple here. Story. Uh, what do we have? So that's for later. Um, and then we've got the Cult of the Tree. Okay, so we do have some other stuff. Oh, didn't want to do that. Okay. So writing part of ritual. Nightingale only victim to become a monster. Why? Make her remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Okay, so where would that go? Cult call. Maybe here? No? Oh, there we go. Writing part of ritual. If wake is the origin of the pages, then no cult connection, unless the cult is working with a scratch. The Nightingale spoken excerpt excerpts from the pages. That's not right. Crap. There we go. The other taken were speaking strangely too. The pages are clearly connected, but how? The page was placed inside of Nightingale's chest. A page where his heart should be. Text tattooed on the missing heart. Can't be a coincidence. Okay, so that was it, right? Yeah. Okay, so because that was for later. Yeah, okay. All right. So, I'm not exactly sure what we should do then. Well, I guess we could leave. So let's take a look. Is there a quest board? There we go. Track down the clicker in Watery. Drive to Watery. Okay. Don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Oh, they're just having some friendly conversations okay. in there. Okay. Past favorite deer fest floats. Go. A yarn puppet monstrosity. The uh, stuffed moose and squirrels one. So Why are you staring at me while you're talking? Those beady dead marble eyes still could be nightmares. A hundred bucks says there'll be at least one vendor bender between the floats. For that amount of money, you'll cause it yourself. Yeah, I'm not taking okay. that wager. I don't care about the floats. Okay, so we got to drive to Watery. Uh, let's so let's do that. We haven't actually gone there yet. I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl. All right, here we are in Watery. Um, so I guess we're going to ask around for yeah. A let's boat just go now. Mayor Setter is a boat for everyone. For Watery. This, uh, okay, yeah, well. Mayor Seta will stand up for justice. Cool. All right, so do we have a map of this place? Let's take a look. We don't, we haven't discovered it yet, okay. No worries, no worries. What's this place here? The Laughing Naki Fresh Seafood. Okay, hey, all the closed. where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Uh, uh, okay. Thanks. Thanks for for that, I guess. I don't really know what you want me to do with that Water information. It's definitely quaint. Yeah. 
quaint is a word. Hello. You don't blow that in my face, please. I bet they have good fish here. Maybe. Oh, sweet. Oh. Nothing in the box. There's never anything in the box. Is, did motion blur get turned back on? Oh, that feels rascal. like it. What are you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. That's what she said. Okay, let's go out here to the main stretch. So we need to ask around, but it doesn't look like we can actually talk to anybody. At least not yet. That's <laughs> a janitor? Hold on. It is. Okay then. Catchy tune. Excuse me. Do you know I got one much? Oh, geez, in the middle of the show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. He's good. I'll have to hand him that. Okay. A terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. Tom the Poet, a film by Thomas Zane. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. Okay, these are just... Yeah, the dark doppelganger in the art and life of Thomas Zane. Guest lecture by the president of Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, the poet, the writer, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer. Sounds strangely familiar to what's going on with Alan, right? Moose Man meets so 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 soy, soy me Hall, Raffles karaoke and skits, blah blah blah. Is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic hidden a majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate prank. A sea creature that defies the law, very laws of nature or a submarine relic from a Cold War era. A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion or a fearsome monster out for blood. These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an undefined, unidentified creature roaming the watery's, watery's waters and making it a rare but opportune appearance, this titillating spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wanda? Shelly the Sea Monster, send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. You can't really zoom in on it. Oh, yeah, you can, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of nasty, yeah. Welcome to Coffee World, one of a kind of amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother Jocko, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling, bustling hub with various businesses, business ventures. The latest one of these, Coffee World, had its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages, as right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you can ask for. And of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm about, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, if you could say. But what's even more important to me than my many successful businesses are in our home is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much of the for the townspeople as it is for the out of towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, it's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. But the slow roaster is of course a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic, and the. Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at least, I bet. Yes. Okay. That's a lot. Boy. So these are all the names of people. Not sure what of. All right, we're going to get out of here. Oh, there's the map. 
cool. Okay, so let's get out here and actually take a look at that boy. So dark. So we're here. So we got all this coffee world investigation. So it's down here. Conversation, new choices. Wait, with who? Oh, is it you? Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live okay. around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at a nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. So that's not the first person that's recognized us. The barista in the coffee shop back in Bright Falls did as well. Anyway, we have um, something for a case board here. Trail of the Cult. Okay, so we've got this here. The trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Duh. Blum mentioned Ilmo Kaskela owns a trailer park. Ilmo can tell me more. I need okay. to find Ilmo Kaskela. Okay, we will. Hello. What are you looking at? I don't think you're going to catch anything, but uh, okay. Okay, so the bridge. He said what's left of the bridge, so I assume the bridge is out. Okay, so investigation's right. It's behind us. What are we supposed to be investigating? Back here. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Oh, that's okay. That's him. Okay. All right. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. You look like you're just having a grand old time there, people. Enjoying the sauna. You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> so is Ever beer. heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely how, like, how an old person would be talking. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. You guys need to need to go on a diet. Tubs. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. And a med kit? I don't care. Boy, our inventory is pretty full. Jabber. Not on the radio. Not in the sauna. Nothing in there. Can we get through here? Yeah. Whew. Hot. Uh, yeah, it's a sauna saga. Jeez. The, the rubber ducky. Hey, saga. I think that's him, yeah. Over here. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. 
They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Yeah. I'm Are you familiar so with weird. the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Yeah, so the woman in the coffee shop said something about Saga's daughter drowning or dying? Kid, daughter, kid, something like that. Anyway, either way. And everybody's like remembering these things and apparently, did she live in the trailer park? I guess we're gonna find out, but that's, that's yeah. So okay. what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, <laughs> your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> Just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Profiling is the key. Okay. So while they're just glaring at me, let's come over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, cases. Fact versus fiction. So There's a whole new one. Okay. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Okay. Which parts are false, which are... Which, if any, are real? Ilmo owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived. Calls me his funniest resident. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes. But seriously, what kind of life did I live here? Rose, recognize me in the diner. I thought she said Saga. Yeah, it says I moved away after Logan died. Oh no, that's that's in the diner. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, the one woman in the place where dude was singing, I could have swore she said Saga, but. Maybe. I don't know. Logan is not dead. But what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. Okay. Alright. So that's it for that. Um, so where's... What is this? Bottom left. A little ding ding dong. What is that? Is that something in here? Oh, profiling, that's right, yeah. Cascalis. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Well, yeah. No way that those two are going to think it's an like urban legend. Here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh, boy. 
Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Okay. Oh, wait. Trail of the Cult, okay. So, no, I still feel that I own a trailer here. What? And I'm a member of this community. Okay. They really think I've lived here. This is unnerving, but at least I can exploit it to get inside this trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Okay. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. So they're definitely just not gonna answer. Okay, so there's something else for the case board here. Spare keys to the trailers are in the shop, coffee world gift shop safe. Okay. The Costellas think I lived in the trailer park with Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? That is strange. The spare key is at coffee world. First, the witch is at the diner. Now, the Costellas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? Uh, There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. They said just follow the path, right? Let's just do that. So we gotta get over here and get the keys to the trailer, but then we gotta get to the trailer park afterwards. Man, our inventory's so full. What was that? What was that? <laughs> we said it at the same time. Oh my goodness. Probably just some kids trying to sc scare me. Fuck! The heck is. Axe? Somebody just chucked the freaking axe. What the hell was that? They were like Sonic. So fast. So there's nothing up there. Were they I mean, they were they trying to kill us? Oh, I should have shot. Okay. I'm on edge. I wasn't expecting to be on edge. At least not that quick. I don't know if I hit him or not, but... There we go. More people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story. Or both. Okay. Probably both. Okay, so we can go up there. We can go that way. Let's take a look at the map. 
Okay, okay, so... Looks like if we go straight, it might just be a dead end. So let's check that spot out. Maybe we'll find more pieces of the, uh, those like little pieces of paper. And the boxes, the lunch boxes, the Alex Casey lunch boxes. Oh, we've got the rhymes. What's this? Moose doll. There's another moose doll. Was there more? Okay, so let's go in here first real quick. So then we've got the nursery rhymes. Watery rhymes. Deer doll used to solve... Uh, okay. Okay, well maybe we can't do it yet. Oh, strange dolls. Okay, up here. There we go. Okay, I love the antlers and its little face. Nicely made. Kind of hard to tell it's a deer. I suppose clothespins are limited are a limited limiting medium. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Oh. Okay, so that's not it. Makes sense. Oh, so it's the moose. Okay, so well, what changed? Well, let's go back here. So we've got this. Rhyme found at the shooting range near Watery. Okay. Rhyme about a moose evading hunters. Okay, well, I don't really see anything that changed, except for that. When the heck was, was that there whenever we came down? I don't think it was. What the hell? A charm. Okay, so the charm. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Okay, so that's one of those. That's not anything crazy. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the map. Crossbow bolts. Wait, what? Did I miss those? Oh, like right there on the on the thing. Okay. Maybe that's just something important that we need to keep in mind. But they're not something we could pick up. It's just something that's been shot into that, that wood there. Got to keep an eye out for those painted stones as well. That's what's going to lead us to the Alex Casey lunchboxes. Okay, so there's, there's a thing up there. I think it's one of the, the cults um, things. But we're going to have to be able to get up there. Here's the cult symbol. Um, can go over that way. Okay, so it's going to take us out to probably that chest, but we're probably not going to be able to open it because it's going to be one of the ones that we need to solve a riddle for, maybe. Wait, what? Oh, I found a page. Watery. Manuscript pages. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. 
Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. And it was coming fast. Okay. Okay. So people started leaving the town. The Koskela brothers came to help bring and re revitalize the town. Okay. I'm not jumping off there. Okay. Is it that one and then that one? Yeah. Those are not hard at all. What's this again? Figure what that is. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looked like it was banished, bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse too. I took care of the body. But that's the third one this month. Everyone keeps our, your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the culture of the tree means business. So they found a body, but and there was a lunchbox next to it, so we're going to need to find that. Okay, so we've got some more case stuff here. Okay, so that's for later. There we go. Stash found in woods near Watery. There we go. Note inside talks about dead taken. Lunchboxes knitting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that's where we were. I'm not going to jump down there. I'm going to go back this way. Really got to keep an eye out on the ground for those pages, too, because I almost missed that page a little bit ago. If it wasn't for the pop-up showing me to pick it up, I would have probably missed it. Okay, so this is where we could have came up earlier, I believe. And this here, hunting shack, watery. Okay. Is that people like on the rides? One, seven, two, three, five. Okay. There was a one down where we did the riddle Another earlier. One of those cult boxes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you take the crossbow out. Put it back in the stash when you're done. I changed the code as asked. Okay. Two. Five. So five, because there's only one bolt in it. Five, two. Seven. Five two seven. Is it a three or a four digit? It's a three, okay. Nice. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't care, because now I got the crossbow and you're all gonna die. Oh, I can take these now? I, I didn't do that. My inventory's full. I can't do anything. Okay. So we can pick up the crossbow bolts now. I think that if I start the generator, this will turn into a safe room. Which means I can... Store stuff? I thought I just heard something out here. Okay. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, okay. So let's quick save it. Shoebox, okay. So we don't need this. Okay. 
Just click these crossbow bolts real quick. Generator scared me. There we go. So now we can probably go back and pick the one up from the other spot as well. But let's look at this page real quick. Okay. Saga in the watery woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. Okay, so that was telling us about what just happened a little bit ago. Okay. So there's more. Is there case stuff? Yeah, right here. I found a stash. Okay. Crossbow inside. Better wash. Better in my hands than theirs. Okay. So let's take a look at the map um, real quick. Container. Oh, that's probably the one that we couldn't open. So we can get crossbow bolts there. Um, I'm not... We're probably going to have to go back out anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just head back up. Or head up to where we haven't been yet. Get absolutely scubered on, boy. Uh, reload. Oh, we have to stop to reload? Of course we do. It's a crossbow. <laughs> okay. Can we get our crossbow bolt back, though? No? Well, that's dumb. Did it go through his skull? What is that down there? A red glowing thing. Okay. So there's that. So we need to go up this way first because this is going to take us down and around. We need to go up here to the radio tower. That's where they said the they found the body along with the lunchbox and knitting. So there's definitely going to be some stuff up here for us. Oh, come on. Nothing in your damn box. There's no water even there. There's nothing in there. It's just, uh, just, uh, I don't like this. Are just there to annoy me. Okay, so here's yeah, here's one of those. So we're getting close to one. I um, just need to keep an eye out. Let's go up here first. Boy, do we have some breaking news that's sure to knock your socks off. Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. That's right. Our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory, okay. teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home. So there's another poem down there. We'll check that out in a bit. So can we see that red? Yeah, right there. Oh, it's like a buoy. Okay. This dude's jabbering on about some beef jerky. Okay, so here's more of these. So it's probably back in... Yeah, there's right there it is. Box. I lowered my rifle. Standing on the car's roof, I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe. Thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time. Hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening, 
and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of a sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. What? What? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Okay. Um. So we got the Alex Casey lunchboxes, and then uh, watery. More fan fiction with zombies in mycology. Not gonna lie, I'd read more of these. It was a good like little little short story there, you know. I can dig it. More of those rhymes. Okay, is there any other little? Um, statue thingies around. Doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's just go ahead and read it. It's probably gonna be something with just the deer and the moose then. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home and two of the deers cried all day. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh gosh. Stupid ass deer. What'd you leave for me? Where is it at? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. This crossbow is a beast? It was dope. Oh, they killed it. Okay, so that gave me my crossbow bolt back. Oh, it's next to the dead, the dead deer. Okay, so it played out like that. I can All right. Use this charm on my bracelet. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. So what do we have right now? Adds one charge as a flashlight. Nope, keeping that. St attacks stagger enemies more often. Increases maximum health. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and keep that. Also, let's go here, because um, we've got 22 now, so we can probably upgrade crossbow, yeah. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. Hold the fire button to draw a crossbow further for increased damage and straighter arc. Bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullet fired near them. Bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. What? Let's do this one here, because that's... I realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream. Yeah, like in a dream, big boy. Like in a dream. Like in a dream. Mm, like in a dream. I really like these little charms, and they don't just show up and you just find them. You have to actually figure stuff out. The poems aren't too hard. It's a really cool way of doing it because you're writing them into reality, basically. Which just follows the theme of the entire game, which is super cool. Okay, looks like we got a split off here. Sounds like some music. Um. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay, let's come up this way. Yeah, we got the stones and stuff, so there's probably going to be another lunchbox up here. Oh, for sure. There's a cabin over here. Okay. Oh, it's the music's from the carnival. Nothing in there. Another one of those lunch boxes. Yep, there it is. Cool. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Okay. Too late. I need to go here and go to the Casey lunchboxes. We're already there. If the author of these pages wanted privacy, that ship has sailed, I'm afraid. <laughs> exactly. So what else was here? We did all oh, the nursery rhymes. That's right. Okay. 
Uh, watery rhymes. Rhymes about a deer being eaten by wolves. Okay. Cool. But yeah, there's this this cabin here. Looks like we're probably not going to be able to get there right now, which is probably a good thing. Seems to be fluted. It's pretty creepy. Also, like, why... Like, it's such a weird spot for an amusement park. It's just so odd. I feel like it's more like a carnival type deal. But, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, this hole is just... It's supposed to be like bumper cars, like bumper boats or something. Okay, got another save point here. And quick save it. Another page, cool. Okay. Scratch stalk through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Okay, so this is the final deer fest then. According to that, he's let loose all of his little lackeys, I guess. Okay. Is there anything in the, the porta potty? No. Okay. Let's continue on. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Yeah, I don't or know. They turned into Taken. I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Okay. So it's going to probably... Uh, that looks... The key is kept in the gift shop safe. Yeah, that looks like the gift shop. So, this place doesn't even look like fun. <laughs> like, no offense to the to the brothers, but how did this attract a bunch of people? Okay, let's go into the gift shop. Uh, it's not going to be just as easy as walking and grabbing it and leaving. I guarantee that. Okay. Yeah. Locked. Yeah. Need something to jimmy it open with. A list okay. of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put it back when you use it. Okay. Log maintenance 62723. Copy world entrance sign defaced cleaned with detergent waxed sign should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow victor slow roaster pot is stuck won't swing i hit it with some wd-40 seems good for now jackal 7 19 23 fallen tree near little lagoon or little lagoon should probably call the tree guy chainsawed and removed keeping the wood jacko several burned out bulbs on percolator replaced and order more bulbs steward Nine one twenty three squeaking on Latte Lagoon car B. Tighten the bolts. Less bad now. <laughs> Less bad now. Jocko. Nine ten twenty three. Percolator control panel jammed. Removed front 
What screwdriver found a penny in there? Stuart. Okay. So are these going to be in case? So the story? Okay, so this is from the um, the page that we read a little bit ago. Okay, clicker you wanted to make a horrific again to the story. Overlap, how to enter, dark presence, clicker. Here we go. Scratch just needs a clicker to make his ending into a reality. Can't let that happen. Okay, and then we've got the trail of the cult. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on earth. <laughs> and yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Okay. The trailer park key. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Unless that someone would help me, but there's no one here. It looks like I'll need to find my own way inside. Okay. Let's look at these ones. These are the ones I need to um, note about using a screwdriver to force a lock open worth a try. I guess so we got to find a screwdriver. Advanced log list screwdriver. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Okay, it was on the percolator. So we got to find the percolator. Um, so can we see? Percolator's over here. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be fun. Okay. So it's a slow roaster. Another cult stash. Only striped cups. Okay. So we'll look for. That's not what I wanted to do. Look for striped cups. Oh. So there's only one. Four, seven. Okay, so there's two stripes on four. So that's one. There's one blue stripe. Seven, there's two blue stripes. One, seven, four. No? Okay, so it's one four seven. Okay, no worries. Do not take what is not yours. Well, it's all mine. Oops, I keep hitting that. Keep hitting that bucking, bucking, the bucking. Keep hitting the bucket, the the button <laughs> to go into the mine place to go back. We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. Oh. Ooh. What the F? At the WTF, all the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. Well, they're trying. They're trying to gather it all. They're trying to gather it all so we can get the, the, the porta potties back up and working. It's not horrifying. I really want to shoot one of these with the crossbow. Yes! It works. Unfortunately, I'll lose my bolt. That's fine. At least we know it works. We get in here? Nope. Why does this place look so run down? There's the moose. Wait, hold on a second. Gift shop, espresso, express. Okay, so that takes us down and around. Okay, let's go down here. Ball balloon pop. Oh, sweet. Cool. Can I, uh... No! I win. This is typical... Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Thank God. I get that. Yeah, give me that cassette tape, you jerk. <laughs> I would have scared the piss out of me, too. Rubber duckies, all these moose. 
Why so many moose? This is deer fest, not moose fest. Oh, this isn't deer fest. This is coffee world. Jerk. That's what you get for your brother scaring me. The percolator. Okay, then. Don't like that. I'm gonna have to get on there, aren't I? Oh, boy. Where? Come on. Missed. You wanna go, buddy? Missed him. What? Nope. Ah, you missed me. How many bullets? Jeez. What the heck? Dude, I shot him so many times. Let's get this reloaded. Can I not go onto that? I don't think I can. No, it's not letting me. At least not from there. Okay, right here we go. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. Yeah. We'll just jab it open. Just jab it, jab it open. Okay, let's go back to the... What the heck was that? Go back to the gift shop. What? Die! Why? That's what I thought. What the heck? Why'd the enemies get so much tougher? Okay, so we gotta go back. There's another person up here too. So very easy to see on the ground, which is nice. What the heck? Oh, well, so I'm not fully breaking them with my charge, that's why. Why is that not working? What? Why is that just not working very well? Huh. Okay. Maybe I just wasn't too or close enough to him. I don't know. Okay. Now where is that safe? Okay. Got a piece of paper here. Another piece of the manuscript. Take a look at that in a second. Let's get this door closed. That flare. Well, there's the save. Okay, Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report. And then bam. They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continu maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. 
Hey, Ilmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about their kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee theme amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. Wolves. It's funny. Okay. Let's take a look around. I guess this a toy knife will do. Toy knife to do for what? Puko knife. Our team. Can't really see. Okay. All right, so before we check with the safe, let's go ahead and look at the manuscript. Um, page. So it's here. Copy rolled attacked. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend, and I apologize to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Okay, so that was... Was that about this place getting over overcome by the darkness, I believe? Okay. Locked. Okay. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? <laughs> Jocko. Look out, fix your supplier. Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker, look out, cleaner. See? No, not rocket science. Tracker, look out, cleaner. Tracker, look out, cleaner. Huh. Let's go in here. I safe. need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzles, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Okay. So there's that. We need to go to the case board too. So we've got this uh, trailer park key. So there's that. Don't think. Don't think a screwdriver will work on this one. Um, use information in the gift shop to create a safe combination. Answer somewhere in the gift shop. Mentions three jobs. Tracker, lookout, and cleaner. Okay. We've got cult stashes. So this one was watery area. <clears throat> More warnings inside. People must break into these fairly frequently. Okay. So this was lookout. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Coffee world staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Okay, so tracker, lookout, cleaner. Okay, let's just read these real quick. Uh, news of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World Day. <laughs> the photos have stickers on them. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is under, unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we'll fix it as soon as possible. Susan lost and found maintenance. Right operator, janitor. So it was tracker. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put these over here. No two employees share the same responsibilities. Stickers indicate how many years employees have worked. Okay, I see. I see. OK. 
Okay. I bet Elmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudokus. Tracker, lookout, and cl cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Why is that on now? The tracker, lookout, cleaner. So Janitor will be cleaner. So that's six. Tracker. Park walk around? Probably park walk around. So two and then security be lookout. Two, four, six. Let's try that. No? Maybe maybe trackers lost and found. One four six. There we go. Okay. Got it. To my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the cult. Okay. I don't even know where to even go for the trailer park. Layout trailer park. It's clear down there. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save it real quick. I didn't realize how long I'd been recording, and I'm trying not to make these two hours long. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save it, and we're going to get to the trailer park in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been, been enjoying the series, and we will see you boop, in the next video. Bye-bye.